Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta and this one is about how and why to use overdrive in front of an amplifier and how not to use it. I have two amplifiers, Marshall JM 80203 from 84, aka the bad boy, and then a TV5150 blood letter from 92. And the signal chain today is ESP Mirage Deluxe from 80s, I believe 87, with EMG 81, EMG SA single coil, which is a bit harder than S. Then into the pedal board, then into KG audio amp switchers, amp switcher, these two amps 850 150, then through power station, where I'm attenuating the signal a bit, into both of my cabinets, Marshall Vintage, which has three Marshall Vintage speakers and one Celestin V30, and to 1960BX cabinet, where I have two green backs, one 65 green back and one 75 green back, green back. Today I'm using the Celestin V30 from the vintage cabinet, mic with SM57 and SC Electronics VR1 ribbon mic. And from the BX cabinet, I'm miking the 65M cream back with SM57 and Sennheiser MD421. Then the signal goes back. The, the two pairs are summed with Radios 21 summing mixers. It goes back here to my warm audios WA412 mic pre and then into Logic. That's it. And I have Bass SD1 in front of both. So I'm gonna play both amps first with the SD1 on, then with the SD1 off. Let's start with JZM800. <laughs> First with SD, then off. <laughs> I believe you heard the difference. Yes, I have tweaked the amps to work with SD1, so there was more bottom, clearly more bottom and more muddier than without SD1, a lot, tiny amount of a gain. But let me show you, because the 800 again is pretty mu much maxed, so I'm using an overdrive in front of Marshall JZM 800 for two reasons actually for three, to make it tighter and to add a bit more gain. And then I can also have a clean sound, or almost clean, when I turn the SD off, row down the volume, and switch to a less output neck pickup, like this. <laughs> the feel, the small compression it gives me. Let's switch into the 5150, check the SD. This has plenty of gain, so it's not for gain purposes. Now the gain is at here above two. <laughs> It 
doesn't really clean, and even though I backed the lows quite a lot, it's still a bit boo boo boo. So let's dial it again. <laughs> out of the amp and you use uh, the way I dial it just where it kind of starts to that and it's here above two and then it's kind of rock and roll sound cleans up nicely. So there's a lot of advantages. Makes the amp tighter, gives it a little bit more compression. I like the feel a lot. Then you can turn your one channel amp into a two channel amp. So for example live, I use my blue guitar amp on Iridium, which is basically like this JJ Mirage bad boy. It's on the side of the stage and I have set it just like I said my 800. Then my clean sound is Usually the neck pickup or center pickup if I have, sometimes the bridge pickup. I just kick off the SD1 and then draw down the volume, add chorus sometimes. That's kind of the, the clean sound. It's not completely clean, but I like it that it's a little bit of a spank, especially live, it cuts through a bit better. So those are the advantages of using an overdrive in front of an amp. These advantages it can be a bit noisy, so I've been using now a noise gate, it's a 40 Zool, so it's after the overdrive, in front of the amp. I don't like noise gates in the loop, I mean this doesn't even have a loop. To me it does something to the amp that I just don't like, it's kind of, I don't know, I want the amp to roam free, and as you can hear now when I take the, the off the noise gate, It's quiet, because I don't have that much gain, but when I kick in the, the SD1, there's a little bit of noise. Let's start with the 800, no SD. SD, now the, the 800 is a bit noisier than the, the 5150, but now when I kick in the noise gate, that is after the overdrive. Voila. So that, that, is, that is that. And then how not to use an overdrive, or especially this kind of overdrive that cuts the lows a little bit, boosts the mids and highs. So the idea is with that, that it must be in front, so you're kind of overdriving the amp as the pedal suggests. So instead of your, just your, guitar signal, you add an overdriven signal, or then you can use it as a clean boost. Like I use it, I like to have the drive barely open, so there's a little bit of that diode clipping overdrive, and then the vo vo level or volume almost maxed, and tone according to taste. With SD1 my tone is usually around 1 o'clock. So then the amp gets that overdriven sound and it reacts totally differently and sounds different than without. It's much tighter, there's a nice compression, and when you take it off, you have all, and roll out the volume, you have a pretty much a clean sound. Why you don't use this kind of overdrive and on a transparent in the effect loop? Because effect loop is, because amp has two sections, there's preamp section, which you control with this, and then power amp section, in 5150's case, there's resonance, low and thump, and presence, top controls that affects power ramp. The effect loop is between the amplifier's preamp and power ramp. 
you have a full sounding amp if you put a mid boost non-transparent overdrive into the effect loop so basically your amplifier goes to the to the overdrive and it sinks everything down there's no lows there's just mids and highs and then that excuse my language shitty sound goes into the power amp the power amp amplifies that so no effect loop unless you have a completely transparent overdrive or boost which doesn't do anything else than adds volume boost or drive on top of the signal then you can use it in the effect loop as a like a lead boost so that it doesn't cut it doesn't boost it doesn't change the preamp character of the amp it doesn't take away the lows and everything those transparent overdrives work in the loop as a like a lead a volume boost so sd1 in the 5150 loop sounds like this <laughs> So, know that. But, transparent boost, like Wampler's DB booster, sounds like this. Boost was 8 o'clock. Let's put it to 10 o'clock. Like that. Hopefully, this clears out this because, uh, although this is pretty, you know, common knowledge and very clear to many people, there are also many people that this isn't not. Like, you know, if you're just starting out or if you have played but you've never used an overdrive. I've gotten these questions and, you know, there's no stupid questions. There's only stupid answers. And uh, I wanted to do this video because I, I, I got get this question a lot that why I use overdrive and whether I use it in front or in the loop. So non-transparent overdrive always in front to boost the amp, make it tighter transparent in the loop to make it louder obviously you can use transparent overdrive in front also but then it's not really functioning at least what i'm looking for an overdrive you, you just add more because you add more from the from the amp so non-transparent overdrive sd1 two screamer you name it works in front Transparent overdrives works in front, in my opinion, they work the best in the effect loop to just give you a level or gain bump to an already good signal. Hey, thanks for watching, hopefully you found this interesting and informative. Until next time, take care, bye!